Well, well, well. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and as you can see, Weiwei is finally in my hands. Uh, she doesn't have the best gear, though. <laughs> I'm still trying to build up the gear. Uh, I figured that putting this would be better as a secondary, you know, the shield and barrier on certain turns, but I have not gotten that gear fully out yet. But I wanted to talk about a little about a little bit about Weiwei, and I wanted to test out um, Nyx here, and we're going to try him inside of the fox fox boss and see if he actually does what I think he does because of his first skill. So he either does physical or magical damage to an enemy when attacking, depending on their lowest stat. So, if you guys have been in the Fox, one has the lowest defense for physical, and one has the lowest defense for magic. I'm just trying to make sure that this is right, because it says Wraith. I'm not sure if it's just changing damage, or if it's just... Yeah, yeah, we're going to test it out and see if that's exactly what it's thinking in my head. We'll show it off later. But, way, way first... <laughs> So you guys all know Weiwei for her amazing third skill. Her third skill basically gives you 90% attack when maxed out. <laughs> oh god, hiccups. Stop it. <laughs> but, that's not the only thing. If that ally with this buff on uses a special or ultimate, it refreshes. Now, no, duh, you're reading the skill. What is, what's so good about it? You guys do know that there are some characters buffs that play off their attack, right? So here's the fun part. Where is my girl? As you can see, her barrier plays off of how much attack she has. You put Weiwei's third buff on, get that 90% attack, and you get increased shields by that much. You get increased heals by that much. This, this is what really makes Weiwei shine when she plays off other people's attack skilled buffs. Like, it starts to get insane afterwards. Obviously, she isn't going to play off the HP, you know, none of that. But... If I remember correctly, there is another character that plays off that as well. At least one of her buffs does. The newest character. Doesn't she play off one of them? Let's check. Oh, damage reduction. So yeah, you can reduce the damage that that one character would take even more. So that's... <laughs> Literally, she just skilled attack buffs. So she's a good buffer for buffing other buffs. And for those of you guys who are new to the game, the way you can get Weiwei for free is pretty much doing the NPC quests. You have to do 100 NPC quests, but you have to unlock hard mode just to get those NPC quests. So once you go into hard mode, farm all of those quests. Like, as much as you can. I would recommend you at least do 10 a day just so you can get, you know, way, way within like 10 days. Or you could do 20, you know, cut it down to 5 days. But that's a grind. <laughs> and they reset every 8 hours. So you got plenty of time to farm that. And I can highly recommend getting way, way. She is literally one of the best buff, like, supports in the game for sure. Not only that, her. Second skill is just as freaking good and insane. Just because she she increases all of your defense. And every time you get hit, you get healed by a certain amount. And a certain amount scales off of her freaking third skill once again. Because attack increase. So yeah, you're getting a lot of HP back. Like I said, pretty amazing. Just in case some people didn't, you know, notice that or realize that that was going on. 
I'm just saying it now so you guys can understand how way how good Weiwei is. And yes, I've been ever since I got Weiwei last night. Well, not last night. Um, I think two days ago. I have been going through bosses. This is why I got two thousand rubies again because I have just been destroying bosses. I got to ten on here. I cleared ten. Clear 10 here. Got to 8. Dude, I am just going through it. Because most people are forcing me to use Chloe. But I noticed that you will definitely need. Uh, what is his name? This character. Just for that revive. Because the fox is. The, the 9 toe fox, dude, is like really annoying. Trust me. That freaking, if you have Chloe, paralyze the hell out of the uh, one that takes over units. Because that can just turn everything to go south. That is your main priority when you're using any character that, you know, CCs a boss. Target, target the blue one. Hold up. Index. I guess I could show which... Yeah, just target this one. This one just deals, deals normal damage. But if you want to get wrecked by your own unit that you've scaled... Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> Nobody wants to be, you know, held hostage for three turns. Killing your own teammate. Of course you can get him back if you drop their HP with low 30, but who the hell has time for that? And especially if you have a character that's protecting them or get, gave them a shield into the next turn. Or they have their ultimate available to where they can literally destroy one of your units. So, if Chloe gets taken over and she has her uh, third skill up, for the love of God, you want to Faya, Faya, use Faya's third skill on that next turn. Because she will go straight into the ultimate every time she has it. And her ultimate is scary. Like, that's the reason she melts so many bosses. Because her ultimate. And, dear God, Chloe is amazing, to be honest. I hope they do not touch her at all. Leave her the same. Just make, the, just make bosses more challenging. Or, for the love of God, scale some units up, you know? Give them some better things. Make them outshine, Chloe, you know? Just don't go down the whole nerfing route like Epic 7. Just, you know, just don't go to the nerfing, dude. That's the, that's the least thing that, you know, the community of players enjoy. We don't like having our favorite characters nerfed. Just, you know, change them a little bit. Just don't take away what makes them good especially since Chloe's like more free to play friendly you, you definitely can't change that or the community is going to be pissed on that just because a lot of people use Chloe but you guys also need to scale up and change a few of the characters just to make them you know stand toe to toe with her at least you know give us more options because mostly just been Chloe she's pretty awesome and I love her <laughs> I'm just just a little bit worried that they might do something that they might regret or get a lot of people, you know, heated. Let's just hope not. But overall, I want it to go here. And I want to take out you. And this is kind of risky considering that you might die. <laughs> because I took out my, um, damage, you know, migration <laughs> my little damage migration is gonna oof mm. how's this gonna go I don't like this anymore I don't like this whole idea I'm gonna regret this I'm gonna definitely regret this <laughs> all right All right, let's just let's just hope this RNG goes pretty damn good, and let's hope Nyx actually does what I think he does.
because if Nyx actually does what I think he does, he's actually going to be really good for Kai replacement. Okay, so first things first, I want to go into... Whoops. You know what? Fuck it. That's fine. As long as we have enough for Weiwei to use her second ability. How dare you taunt me, you douche. And that's what I mean about that stupid takeover. And he's gonna tr probably try and buff himself with the second skill. Well, with third skill. And I'm gonna take that third skill so you won't be able to use it. Because that can literally murder me. What I normally do here is I make sure to paralyze her because that's literally three turns up. How many is that? That's 16. Alright, next phase. Alright, not that bad damage. Alright, maximum priority. Paralyzing him. So. Yep, he reflects physical. So, yeah. Actually, he doesn't do what I thought he would do. So I'm guessing rate means something else. At least I'm guessing. Okay, so paralyze and that wears off next turn. Now we're going to need shields. Because we've gone too long without our uh, her buffs. Okay, let's see if we can start trying to reset them. I definitely need to scale up her second skill. I think we want to head over here. And heal. I don't do anything without her buffs. And thankfully, since Weiwei has scaled up our barrier, we can be a lot more dangerous. Okay, so that just basically reset them. And I could be a total douche over here. But I'm not going to do that because that'll get me killed. <laughs> so let's go ahead and switch over here. Use her third. Now I get all the normal damage I can take. Gonna go ahead and get everybody in their attack back. And maximum priority is to paralyze. Unless they're just going to straight up reset and just say fuck you dude. I, I appreciate it, game. Okay, so we can barrier. That's fine. 
As you can see, we, we have scaled up even more. Thanks to... A, <laughs> thanks to Wei Wei's ability, our shield has gotten even stronger. Oh no, they're trying to kill Chloe. Why? Dude, no, don't do this. They've done this crap before and it's like really annoying. They literally try to take out Chloe. Or they just primarily aim for somebody. Stop. Yes. Appreciate it. To be honest, I might use Nyx more often. It actually doesn't seem like I have a bad substitute though. Getting freaking taunted out here. Holy crap. Okay, hold on a second. That's going to be bad because I'm pretty sure she's going to die off that. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that except for shield. Ah, oh, man. That's going to be a pain in the ass. Okay, which buff is gone? Okay, that. Give everybody a shield. Yeah, there he goes. Uh, I'll switch back to you. Revive. Alright, so they're both paralyzed. I should take the safe choice and ultimate you. Yo, yeah, wait, wait. To be honest, I feel like, um, who was it? I feel like Kang is also, should be able to do this, but I don't think they're going to give him that luxury. Okay, I tried to take that off. Okay, so now, run a shield. So Chloe can be able to hit, put you back in Paralyze, hit with this, oh wow, okay, well, we should be still be good though. As long as we have our Reviver. Okay, let's shoot everyone. Bring back Chloe. Give this buff back. Yo, Chloe. We're 
gonna put this back on. Okay, you're almost close to kill. We do this. Yeah, I actually might raise Nyx. Seems like we're pretty much home free, to be honest. You're dead. Bring back Chloe. And Chloe can kill you. Yeah. <laughs> so Nyx doesn't do exactly what I thought he would do and, you know, change his damage so he won't be able to, you know, just take all that reflection. That's, that's exactly what I thought he did. But it doesn't seem like it scales that way, unfortunately. I wish it did. If they would just change Nyx to do that, that would be amazing for like, you know, certain bosses that really don't like cer certain effects. Or certain like, you know, defenses. I I wish they would change Nyx to that. Nyx would be like, the most unique damage evading reflection character. And he would be pretty much perfect for fighting the um, fox demon. Like, devs, if you hear this, change the skill to that. Like, that, that would be freaking cool and make him, like, extremely unique. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will use him over Kai at that point. For, for whatever defense is, like, lower. Because I don't feel like that's what it's doing. I, hmm. It, it just sounds weird when you read it. Because you, you think... Because you guys are thinking the same thing, right? It should do... It should change, like, its attack and magic when you when he attacks. And he should avoid, like, the reflection damage that's going on inside of demons. I'm pretty sure most people probably read it like that, too. I can't be the only one who's just, you know, crazy here, right? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> probably I'm just crazy. But Nyx, overall, I'm, I might use him more. I like him. As for Kai, I haven't really used too much, but... A lot of people seem to like him. Just because he doesn't really apply any like effects or stuff like that. So increase like enemies resist. Okay, let's see. Deals extra damage to t of ten percent to targets existing. HP. I mean, yeah, yeah, actually, he's actually pretty good. I can see why people like him. Yeah, he definitely seems like a more rogue type character when you actually see it. But to be honest, if they actually made the changes to Nyx that I'm talking about, people would actually bring Nyx into that raid over Kai. Just because. Nyx would be safe. And he would be a guarantee. Actually, he would be able to... Nah. I, don't, I still don't think you could, like, auto the foxes. Because they would still, um... They would still have, like, too much room to roam around and kill enemies. So, yeah. That has been our test of Nyx. He, he definitely does not do what I thought he does. But Weiwei is an amazing support overall. And she does a little bit of fan service for her, those of you guys who get her. <laughs>
approval of fan service. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy that one. Uh, we're gonna do some fusions now. I've been wanting to do this for a while, you know? Just because we need to see what we get now. Hopefully we get a lot of new characters in the future and I'll just do like a full-on summon but I don't know the desert characters the new desert characters aren't like too much a priority for me so I'm just gonna save into the next you know new character comes out I mean she's actually really good as a buffer that's for sure and you can keep off status effects pretty good with her I'm just not a huge fan of her passive to where she revives somebody with her HP so when I was talking about in that video is actually true. She actually uses her HP to revive an ally. I'm not a huge fan of that. But yeah, obviously you can heal her, but still. <laughs> Wait, can I actually kill her now that I think about it? What if your HP is already low and she revives somebody and she dies? Is that a thing? I hope not. <laughs> that, would, that sounds terrible. Or maybe she just doesn't. Doesn't heal or revive anybody if she's lower than that HP. That could also be a thing too. Who is this? Look at Catherine, let's take her. I was thinking about mixing these two. And see if I can get somebody else new, but I'm not going to do that. Actually, Legendary's back. Legendary Summon. Let's go ahead and go through this and get everything. Then I'll give me, like, plenty of characters to level for our next fusion session which should be pretty damn good jeez that fox run actually took up a lot of time now that I think about it <laughs> which is a good thing to be honest I'm sure somebody would probably want a longer loon video who knows <laughs> I am going to start uh, uh, fusing rare characters as well just because when you think about it, rare there are some pretty useful rare characters within the roster too. Ew, rewards. I made sure I had enough of these um, souls to fully get this able done with. At least I hope I did. <laughs> Don't at me. I've seen a lot of people who use this character too. A lot of like high rank characters. Well, high rank players. Unfortunately, not many people use Owen. Even though he's kind of like a pretty decently strong tank. Okay, so that's all of my epics. So, if I remember correctly, I already tested and seen how many um, souls you need for each table. I know it's over like 70k, I think. We started with like 800k, didn't we? I think it's like between six, 60k. To 70k. Did I say 700k? Am I insane? Am I smoking something? My, my, I might be. Alright. There's all the rewards. Ah, Now I gotta wait a month for the next one. <laughs> Yay. That's only gonna be fun. I'm sad inside now. Alright, let's hope we get a 6. Oh, nope. Never mind. Four to five star. What am I talking about? Alright, who is it? Please let it be Balder. <laughs> I would love another Balder right now. 
No, that's, uh, yeah. Grief. Okay. That's fine. Okay, now I have two reeves, so I can make her plus one. Oh uh, yeah, we're done with. Uh, hey, stop it. We're done with him now. We don't need to put any more transcends into him. He is fully done. But if anybody knows if we're gonna get like you know over max to like ultimate or something, let me know so I can start saving up copies <laughs> because. I was thinking about um, just fusing any other copy that I get from him. We'll get for him. That's what I'm going to plan on doing. I'm just going to max out all my legendaries and just start fusing them for any copies that I've already had maxed. And I'm scared because who knows what they could add. You want... Dude, progression has been pretty good so far. Oh yeah, it's the tree dude this time. Oh yeah, I need more I need better gear. That's what I need. I think I recently just got like some 70 boots for the fox, right? Yeah, here we go. Oh man, that 70 gear. Ah. Oh feels so good to get that gear. Now I'm gonna put my life into RNG trying to get good stuff. <laughs> oh, that sounds like fun. It really doesn't. It doesn't sound like fun. But I'm already also built well beat all this, thankfully. This, this actually scaled up pretty damn high as it went. She was easy. This, this boss was, like, really easy, thankfully. Because she was the only one, and Chloe just pretty much melted her. Considering she's not compared to the actual bosses inside of boss battle. But I'm wondering when they're going to add in more adventures. Because all we have is still stopping at um, Dark Star, which is the dra Nope, this guy. <laughs> I was about to say dragon. Because I was wondering when he was going to become, like, a boss, too. Because it's always interesting to have like new gears that come in. Not the exclusive gears that scale up your skill for some reason. I, I don't know where they're going to go with this. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're already in the index. And I'm pretty sure they're going... Yeah, they're already in the index. So yeah. You can scale up certain things. At best, I would probably aim for some of the um, epics, especially if Chloe's up here. And just scale her three. Oh my god, <laughs> that would be insane. Oh, there is one for Nyx. Which one would actually be for Chloe now that I think about it? Which one actually looks like her stuff? This is why I like games that, you know, kind of live with things. But here it is. If you can get this, boy, you're doing way more damage than you would love to admit, you know? <laughs> but yeah, guys, we're going to end it off there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys on the next one. If you're new, hit that subscribe, turn on that bell notification, and leave a like or dislike. Who cares? And in the end, I was going to say something really gloom, but you know, fuck it. <laughs> to then, peace out.